going down na yung tubig. Pero madumi yung tubig talaga no? Yes, sir. Uh, Galing system. Uh, no? so, so, no? so, totoo ba na yung tatlong outfit ito, i-dedicate ito, no? may tubo raw, tapos sa Maynila, ipapasa no? sa somewhere in Manila, tapos ibobomba dun sa kundo para malinis ito. Hindi pa? Hindi ko ito. Hindi, dito, dito yung ano, treatment plan dito. Uh, dalawa doon, nandun, yung nandun sa embassy, na no outfall, labasan, ikokonekta dito sa treatment plant. Tapos itong pangalawa remedios dito. Tapos yung nandyan sa isa, may, may ipon, yung tatlo, i-treat-treat natin yan bago natin bitiwan. Ay huwag kung saan natin nilalagay dito. Sa, yun ang mga plano. Ay, may plano rin kasi ng ano yan, may nilad ba yan? Sir, anong dates ka dipidabal it sir yung mga tubo? Yung, yung, yung flood, packet sa ito? Yung flood, yes, sir, yung flood, flood drainage. Ito, yung flood dra yung storm drainage yan. Itong septic, iba ito eh. Hindi uh, magka... Uh, yung sewer lines hindi sir, mag, yung papunta sa ito. Yung uh, sewer. Mga, yes sir, yung mga bagong connections. Yakit sa ito. Pero itong drainage, yung sa DPWH, hindi ipokolekta na ito. Yung ito, dito sa ating dito. Kasama ito sir, sa estero niya ba dito? Ah, uh, ano yan. Yung, yung plan niya. Tapos, saan natin itatapon niyo? Sir, kung treated na, pwede na sa tangan. Hindi, ang ibig sabihin niya, plan, ang ano raw, ano yung... Yung tatlong outflows, i-coconnect ko ng, ng Maynila. The, the three outflows now, they will close out the three outflows to connect with Maynila. And that, you know, it's just in somewhere in Malate and then to go there. It's not possible. It's not possible. What is the meaning of Ross? The bag of the sewer lines. Yung mga bag of the sewer lines. But not this one. It's not the drainage. It's more on the... So we'll have an STP here. Treatment plan. That will clean the three outflows. The three outflows. Recognition. For Boracay. Why Boracay? Because next year we will be talking of Save Manila Bay. Yeah. By that time, tapos na. Now, yeah, Save Manila Bay. <laughs> After Save Manila Bay, by next year, we're now going out in the international. And uh, but we talked with Tony. We're doing something, sir, so, so United Nations. Because what we want to do is uh, the president will be acknowledged worldwide worldwide of the alak lang wete it needs all the oh tama yun a president and a secretary si Mato to implement all of this so and then the parangal will come also next year for the small people naman yung mga 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 chairman we will So there should be, the story is continuously sustaining. Dapat hindi mawala ng pick, hindi mawala si General Semato every month. Kasi sir, pag ikaw na naging parang icon eh, you are the real catalyst to everything because we are now, example sir, I was talking to the Department of Tourism, Philippine Tourism Promotions Board, by next month, and with the help of GMA, unofficially too, with the help of GMA, we will clean up the estero of of uh, Pampanga, the river. Oh. Now, what do we do in tourism? The trust now is to turn the Pampanga River into a tourism product, wherein now we will put boats. Uh, huh? river. And then around the area, on the left and right, dati-dati, ang dati-dati, kasi ngayon, lahat ang bahay natin nakatalikod sa ilog. Sa ilog. Ngayon, ha? Pag malinis, ginawa ng DNA, lahat magkaharapan, magtataasan niya. So you can see curious shops, you can see aborigines there, 
and you can stop along the way. So it becomes a tourism product. Transportation. Tapos, it will protect the river. Can you imagine if we replicate this in other rivers, yeah. Susmari so often? Mm -hmm. The Manila economic Bay. benefit that it will accrue to the, the farmers, to Ganon. We will even have cockfight na naka, naka gloves for the tourists. Kaya kung nangyari nagsusumbag-sumbag doon. Hindi ba? We will have a carabao. Huh? So that people can ride the... How many have ridden a carabao? Pakinuha mo ng retrato yung yeah. pare. Uh, <coughs> Merong bigay yun. Yeah. Hindi libre lahat yun. Hindi yung farmer na kaganun eh. Di ba? Oh, we will have a... A rice field, a small rice field, huh? so that they would just plant that. Now, ito pa. When you come out of the rice field, di ba dumi yung kamay, bago. Ha? Bago ka sumakay, meron maglalagay ng kahoy. Tapos may balde, bubuhusan yung paa mo, pare. Ha? Bayad na naman yun, pare. May 20 pesos yun. Di, masaya. Parang gano'n. Kaya e, pambaga river, ha? Oo. Oh. Oh, ma'am. Kasi sir, ano ba niya, maraming because of the lahat. Ayun naman lahat. Lahat. Oh. Pag tinanggal naman yung lahat doon, pare, may sasakay naman sa tak yun. Dere-derecho naman yung sa construction site. Parang ano. So what we're saying now, the DNR would come out with a message, the multiplier effect of of Save Manila Bay. Anong talaga nakaplantigan niya? Anyway, six years program yun eh. Ay, maganda yung ano, uh, participation ng mga ano, yung grupo ninyo. Uh, Rotary. Rotary. Sa, pagdating nyo sir, sa ano ba eh? Pag, uh, kasi yung aming invitation sa inyo, ilang buwan na eh? August? Ah, yung August 22, parangal yun sir sa SCAL. It's an international organization. Ano? Sino, sino group ito? SKAM. It's an international organization established in 1934 oh. in Paris. And we are representing the SCAL Makati. And we are, this is our 38th year and this is the 29th SCAL Tourism Personality Awards. And, we, and we're there for the protection of the environment. Oh. We are the ones championing it. So, na. Ang kasi ang class namin, uh, this card international sir, do international awards for environment. Like timing. So pagpasok ni Jerese Mato Jai, tapos si Presidente sa United Nations, ginagalaw si Tony Oposa na mga siya. Yan ang Oo, may mga pinaglamin siya. Pinagpiro pa petition, sir. May mga... petition sila para sa inyo, Karay President. For international recognition. Oh, very good. Very good for the President. Oh. Both, sir. Right. Both. Yeah. As I say, you're the one, you're the one who acted on it. <laughs> so, ano itong, itong, na ano na ito? Na, na, san, san yung, hindi ko kasi na monitor ito pag nililis dito. This one, sir, only, 3,300 metric tons hold, hold, uh, to Tarla. 3,300 metric tons. Oh. Coming from... Dito lang, sir, sa ilalim. Dito lang. Dito lang sa loob, yeah, sir. Kasi sinipsip dito, sir, sa ilalim. Eh. Nagpasipsip po tayo sa ilalim. Kasi so, ito so, we consider na, na Yes, we naggalaw na po natin ito. Ito. Opo. Opo. Yes, Kaya nga sir, doon nila nilalagay. Kaya ang daming kubo na nito. Oh, dito ko si Conte gagalaw sir. Yeah. Hanggang papunta ro. So from here sir sa ilalim po mismo ng ano, yacht club. Ang problema hanggang doon sir. Yeah. Ah, Pwede isama natin yan. Eh, meron naman dredging equipment sa yung Navy dati. Hindi lang namin alam sa napunta. Sige, uh, masarado ba natin ng Navy? <laughs> Sir, gano'n? Uh, you are the boss. Tayo <laughs> Navy. Then compliance. Kausapin lang namin. Hindi na pumupunta. Wala nang parkour dyan. Pumupunta paminsan-minsan. 
paglabas natin sa kung nagbog tayo, makikita mo. Actually, sir, chinek namin yung mga dredgers nila, bug down na lang. Okay. Sir, ano na dati ulit yung dredging. Eh, mga po, ang pagmamahal yan. Kaganapan dito ngayon sa Manila Yacht Club with our Secretary Roy Sibato. Boy, boy, what a privilege and opportunity na masama tayo dito sa loob. And I think this is it. And yeah, great. Saludo. Puro, magmamahal. Pawag pa ako sa ako. Dito, dito na lang yung pakaroon. Ayaw kami paalis eh. Kain Bakit? Muna Bakit? Kami. <laughs> Kakain muna. Kakain Thank muna you so much po, uh, Secretary Roy Simato. Sobrang dami natin information na nakuha. Ngayon malinaw na kung saan ba galing yung mga nahuhukay sa Manila at Club dito pala sa ilalim. And, and actually, meron pala dito ang lagusa ng uh, wastewater mm -hmm. from uh, the city. So, ang narinig kong plano is magkakaroon ng tatlo yata na water treatment facility or uh, plant. Na, In place... Uh, yun sa mga key, key areas dito sa stretch ng Manila Bay. Yes, so, nice. At saka yun yung uh, kanina, uh, kausap ni Sir Roy, one of the officers ng Rotary ng Philippines. Uh -huh. yun. So maganda yung collaboration na pinaplan nila. Uh, yung Save Manila Bay? Uh, the Save Manila Bay campaign, parang kumbaga ito i-intensify. Saka yung awareness, mas mag-reach worldwide bukod dito sa ibang mga uh, medium natin na gamit. No? So maganda yun kasi Rotary is a very established organization, a group, so yun maganda. Uh, they're really in support sa Duterte administration, sa, sa, sa government, kay Manila Mayor Isko Moreno. Yun. Kaya nakakatawa lang kasi papakainin na kami. No? <laughs> nakakatawa pa yung feedback na narinig namin, sa yung developments. Uh, yung mga info na, na na bigay sa atin. And actually, iba hindi ko na narinig. Mas importante ma-record natin lahat and i-review na lang natin, lagyan natin sa title and stuff. Yes. That's purong pagmamahal. Banda TV. Bidaw ka, bidaw V. Let's go. dito sa uh, upstream dito at saka yung Manila uh, Manila to sa yung hospital so we are slowly co containing the uh, water quality dito sa steros na ito so far medyo maganda, maganda na from the 1.3 billion originally na nakuha natin bumaba na to tens of millions na lang so ang ibig sabihin malaking epekto yung ating ginagawa dyan now nakuha Nag-move na yung 50 families of the former settlers dyan. They move already 50 uh, within Metro Manila sa Kalungkan yata. Meron pang naiwan na 25. Uh, they have committed na uh, itultuloy na rin nila yung ano, mag-comply uh, yung mga requirements ng NSA para susunod na silang i-move. So that, uh, naipakita namin kanina ni Mayor Isko yung uh, first of a wave of uh, informal settlers na marel, okay? This is where the uh, first time na napakano natin. Yes, sir. Na Pero sir, ilan natin. po yung nakikita yung target natin na informal settlers na ililipat po talaga oh, natin? Oo, medyo malaki-laki. Uh, ang inuuna natin itong tatlong steros uh, that em uh, em uh, emptying their water dito sa Manila Bay. Tatlo yan, yung tanto sa tabi ng US Embassy, Remedios, mm -hmm. and so, linisin natin sa upstream, uh, informal settlers, yung mga ano sa ibabaw, then i-clean up natin yan para yung ating time frame na malinisan, the whole uh, bay walk ay malinisan towards the end of the year. We, ano, we are committed to that uh, goal. Uh, ngayon, uh, yung informal settlers na yan, ang total kasi na measure natin, all informal settlers in Metro Manila na nasa uh, Esteros ay 60,000. So, minus 75. Okay. Plus naman, uh, <laughs> malaking uh, bagos na rin yan. For a start, for a start. Uh, so, sir, are you optimistic uh, that in the uh, administration of the President, uh, we can uh, at least uh, 
relocate uh, at least 50% of these uh, informal settlers. Are you optimistic on this? Well, uh, you are, well, ang average kasi nila nakikita noon, uh, statistics-wise, the government is able to uh, uh, relocate 10,000 a year. 10,000 a year. From 65,000 divided by 10,000, six years. So, uh, for, for, for the whole 65,000, but for three years to go, one half of that, yung sinasabi ng optimistic ako, no, one half of that, we might be able to uh, relocate one half of the informal settlement. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Sir, okay. clarify lang po yung 75,000 families po ba? 65,000. 65,000. Families. 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 Households. Hindi, dito sa estero lang ito. Ay, sa estero po. Hindi, sa iba-ibang mga estero. Sa mga waterways. The whole other estero in Metro Manila. 65,000. Sa mga waterways. 75 pa lang ang malilipat. But it's a good start. Yun yung point dito. It's a good start. And we're, uh, uh, kumbaga, we're uh, ready on the uh, relocation of these ISFs. Ayos. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. Thank you very much. Ayos, ha? Ayusin mo. It has been a good Saturday. And uh, in fact, with the presence of the prior mayor, ay malaking bagay rin yan. Uh, Pagkita natin na nagtutulungan tayo, local government at the national government.